Hello. So, <clears throat> as many of you guys know that we have a coupled crawl coming up next month. And some people are curious how to get your car set up for that. So I thought I would just go ahead and show you how we are setting up the Brazen ATL for the dual remote. And kind of give you an idea of what you need to do and basically how easy this actually is to have it set up. So we're going to go ahead and remove the cover here. And thankfully my electronics are all open. Um, I do already have one of my lines removed from the receiver. So the way this is going to work is the fact that you will need to either remove your steering line or your throttle line. And what you're going to end up doing is grabbing one of these patch cables, which we do have them available. These will be free. We have about 20 of them. Um, at the event so that way you know if you have your car mostly set up for it and you don't have the cable or you don't understand how to fully do this between this video and some tech in at the event itself we'll get it all taken care of no problem so we got our car we have our two remotes sitting here so i'm using a dx5c which is the car's actual remote and then I robbed um, a tactic off of my Wraith uh, that's getting redone. So, got my little tactic TR325 and my SR215 in the car. Uh, with these wires, you only need two, uh, two of these lines, and it's the black and the red. I left the white on there just so you can have a better understanding of how they go. But if you don't understand fully, um, the easiest thing to understand is the fact that on most of our receivers, the black line is on the outside edge. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug this into battery. And from there, we're going to plug this. It doesn't really matter where it goes as long as the receiver has power. So you can use an auxiliary line. You can use um, your battery line. Just make sure you don't move the cables around. You really, or uh, switch them around. You really don't want to have to deal with something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on line two, which I believe is throttle. So there we are with those. Let's get our remotes turned on. Now, when you're adding a remote, um, especially if you're using it as a throttle, something to be making sure of is the fact that your throttle trim and all of that has been zeroed out adding on um, a receiver as a throttle. If it's not centered to zero, your receiver will not actually start. So if you have a problem with it, not like you, you get everything else connected and you only got steering, no throttle, that's mostly the reason why. So go ahead and get this all plugged in, turned on. We got our little beeps. So now, this DX will be controlling the steering, but has absolutely no throttle whatsoever. And then this Tactic, which has absolutely no steering on it, will control... Oop, let's not bring the battery in underneath that. But there you have it. Two remotes, one car. So, also at our little event that we're going to be having at the Coupled, Coupled Comp, it is at uh, Covington Hobbies. They're an awesome people, so if we have something that we need or something breaks, there's an RC shop right there for us. Um, 
it is five dollars per person yes that does mean that this will be ten dollars per car ran this is rc hobbies track fees and that's not part of our event line so yes the event is free but unfortunately the track that we're playing on does cost money You'll be given a card at which that card does need to come back to us to prove that you have paid and that you're set up to go. Also at the event, uh, we have a, a couple little uh, awards that we can give out. Uh, we were planning on mailing them out and it still may be a handed and mailed award depending on how that all goes, goes down. But we did come out with a few awards that I've been pretty happy about. So we actually have a printed hand holding a remote. And sorry, my, my lights kind of mess and things up on that. But I thought that was neat. Something definitely different. You're not going to see that anywhere else in the community at the moment. Uh, that that file was actually remixed by me, so I, I know it's not available anywhere else in the community. Then we also have a bunch of truck nuts. Oh yeah, those are fun. I did go back and make some of them glow in the dark just for, 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 for giggles. And then soon to be up on the website as well is our thumb steers. We have them available for download right now, but the thumb steers are coming in two different styles. So we, we have a angled like you see on my DX5. Oh, I should probably turn that off. And then we also have straight ones that would be okay for use on <clears throat> say like this tactic. So the thumb steers were in fact changed ever so slightly to have little nubs on the inside to kind of help grab onto the remote. So even without it being secured in place, I'm I, I'm still getting access to that. So that's it's a nice little change. Get that all turned off. Don't want to waste battery. But that's how we. Uh, that's how we're getting these cars set up for the event. Can't wait to see everybody out there that month. And don't forget, we also have Skook and Flats heading out on January too. So this is gonna be a busy, busy couple of weeks for our group. Y'all be kind out there.